So one day I was visiting my mother at her house and she served me this vegetable smoothie made with kabocha squash. And I thought it was so interesting because most smoothies are made with like fruit or whey protein and then they add like coconut milk or almond milk or macadamia milk. And so when I tasted this smoothie, it was so delicious and hearty at the same time. So I started making this smoothie for myself and my husband. And so I had an idea of making the smoothie with other vegetables like yams and sweet potatoes. And I'm telling you, I've been drinking this smoothie like three or four times a week for breakfast. So like I said, my mother's recipe includes kabocha squash in the smoothie. So that's what I'm going to make first. So I've already baked my kabocha squash in the oven at 400 degrees for about one hour to one hour and 15 minutes. So you want to cook it first so that the flesh of the squash gets nice and soft. So I've already cooked my kabocha squash in the oven and we're just going to do everything in the blender. And you see how easily the flesh comes out when the squash is fully cooked. And I love kabocha squash because it has a very similar texture to potato. And that's what makes the smoothie nice and smooth. And then I'm going to add some pine nuts, some kind of nuts. And I love pine nuts in the smoothie because the pine nuts are nice and soft. So you want to use a nut that's very soft, not like an almond, but like a pine nut or a cashew nut. I'm going to add a little bit of honey just to give it a little bit of extra sweetness. This is raw organic honey. I'm going to add a pinch of salt to balance out the honey. I'm going to add some cinnamon to give it that nice depth of flavor of that cinnamony kind of flavor to it. It works really well in the smoothie. You can also add some kind of like a nutmeg. That works really well. And then finally, I'm just going to add my milk. This is macadamia milk. You can use almond milk. You can use hazelnut milk. You can use whatever milk you like. You could use soy milk, whatever milk you like. And then we're just going to blend it up. blend it up. I'll show you the texture, how smoothly it really comes out. You see that? You see how smooth it is? So for the final step, I want to add some seeds in it, like a chia seed or flax seed or sesame seeds. But I'm going to add some chia seeds to this one. And you can also add the chia seeds right in the blender and blend it up, but I'm just doing it at the last minute. And there you go. So the next smoothie, I'm going to use a root vegetable, either a yam or a white sweet potato. And you want to use a potato that's kind of sweet for this recipe. You don't want to use the regular like Idaho potato. You want to use a potato that has a sweetness to it. And both of these potatoes have sweetness. So for this one, I think I'm going to use the white potato. And so I've already cooked my potato in the oven and it's nice and soft. And I'm just going to peel off the skin. and place it right in there. And the skin comes off really easily once you've cooked the potato, very easily. And I love this white sweet potato. This one and yam are like my favorite potatoes. And I'm gonna add some cashew nuts with this one. Like I said, use a soft nut like a cashew nut or a pine nut. I'm also going to add a little bit of honey to this as well. I'm 
I'm gonna use also again cinnamon. Like I said, you could use nutmeg if you like. Add a pinch of salt. And for this one, I'm gonna add flaxseed. And I'm gonna pl place it right in the blender. And then I think I'm gonna use the almond milk for this one. You could use like a hazelnut milk as well, soy milk, coconut milk. This one I'm gonna use almond milk. And then we'll just blend it up. Everything blended up nicely. So I'll just pour it in. And you see how creamy smooth it comes out? I'm telling you, this really makes a wonderful breakfast smoothie. I'm telling you, it is really creamy smooth. That's the beauty of the smoothie. It has that real smoothiness to it. And I could taste a little bit of the cinnamon and I can taste the kabocha squash coming through. This really makes a wonderful breakfast or a pick-me-up afternoon snack. It's really energizing. So try this recipe. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. And if you like this recipe, please make sure to share it and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to visit all of my spiritual and holistic living tips, just go to my website at yinandyangliving.com. Kumapsunida.